Hi everyone, welcome back. As per our promise, your twin flame video. I'll try and make this regular. And sorry, I'm very sinusy. I have a flu brewing due to various people that have been around me with the flu. Thank you very much. You know who you are. Now, there's been some changes of energy. The last one I did connected to the twin flame was connected more to the masculine. Now, there's been a bit of a shift in a sense of the energy being heavier on one side, more so than the other. That's not to say that it isn't heavy on the masculine side, but the feminine is going through a very confusing time at the moment. And it can be due to um, communication and expectations and really not having the clarity connected to either the connection, depending on if you're twin flame A or twin flame B. Now, when I'm saying that, I'm meaning more the ones that are quite, not quite there on their journey. So the earlier stage of the twin flame unions. And there are other ones that are either already coming into that union stage, have the contact, have the communication. They're A. Should we call them I? Yeah, we'll call them I. Okay, so the ones basically that have had that connection, this is going to relate to you, but I still will try and relate back to the ones that don't have that connection and that um, uh, direct contact yet. Now, if you are having dramas with your twin flame union, please email me and or make a booking and I can help you work with that energy and help you work with the blocks, etc. of what's going on with it. And perhaps kind of remotely give you a bit of clarity on what is happening with your twin and how they're directly travelling within your twin flame union. Now with the feminine, I... You guys are going through a hard time at the moment and that's because although... You're jumping in two worlds. Now, when I'm saying you're jumping in two worlds, you're getting to a point where on a 3D level, what you visually see is signs, um, vibrations, feelings. Uh, it can be the way in which your masculine is communicating with you. Uh, you on, on an emotional level, you're connecting and you understand what they're saying and you feel quite positive. But you're going to be jumping very much back and forward. And when you are doing that, it's actually creating a bit of confusion for the feminine. So I will be pulling some cards today for the feminine. Uh, and that's to support you guys uh, into how you can actually look at it from a different perspective. Now... The energy you guys are taking on is you're really wanting clarity. And when I'm saying clarity, visually you are seeing aspects of change connected to your twin flame. Also, environmentally you are seeing changes as well. So it can be aspects changing in your life uh, connected to location, connected to the way you communicate with them, maybe an increased sense of contact. But the clarity isn't the way you're wanting it. And it's not that you're not getting it and you're not grateful for what you are actually receiving. It's more to the point that it's not quite the way you thought it would come about and uh, you're, you're grateful for how it's travelling. But there's aspects that are causing a dynamic of uncertainty. But on a 5D level, on that level of your intuition, uh, your spiritual um, ability to connect with this person, your intuition connected to the scenario. Vibrationally speaking, the connection with your twin, you have um, great faith in, but you're wanting to, on the 3D level, actually visually see that. So it can be a verbalization of things that you have yet to hear how they directly feel on certain levels, yet on a visual level, perhaps you have seen that there has been a sense of forward movement, but not the way you had expected and not to the expectation you had had. Now, you're also travelling through a few energies as well at the moment, and that is going to be connected to your personal self-worth. These things that I'm going to mention are key to you changing the actual vibration of your masculine. So when you have trigger points in yourself, they directly will have a trigger point in your masculine. So your sense of self-worth 
it's going to be pivoting from absolutely fantastic to who the heck am I? And it will be like in two seconds. So you're going to be coming and going. Yet on the 3D level, uh, you also may find that people are actually quite drawn to you. Even though you're semi-questioning, uh, it can be your attractiveness, uh, the feeling of your self-esteem at times, and it's, it's not day in day out, but it's going to come and it's going to come and go connected to this scenario, and it's due to the connection and the way in which you're actually communicating with your twin. It can be that you're actually physical with your twin at the moment, and that although verbally certain things haven't been said, aspects internally in your mind is questioning uh, the value of yourself. If this is more than although you know the twin flame connection is very very deep at times um, on an intimate level you may actually find it gets to a point where it's very disconnected and then very connected and you will know completely the difference between that and uh, you'll as that changes you'll actually know there is a direct difference and the connection has very connected it is there, but it's a sense of vulnerability for the masculine. So for them to get to that stage, it's a very, it's a very low to deep stage. So just bear with it, uh, take it and accept it the way it goes, each to your own. Um, but in a way, what I'm trying to say is try not to take it personally because it's it, it's a growth and it's a journey process and as their walls come down uh, the environment connected to that will actually change what else have I been sensing okay you're going to come to a point where you start losing yourself inside the scenario yet again um, but you're going to flick out of it very quickly. And when I'm saying you're going to flick out of it, I am meaning, look, the connection's there, but it's the learning that you have had to this point in time has been that you have come into your own. You've gained your power. You've taken an aspect of the masculine energy. So by you actually getting to a point where you're owning your power, um, when the energy energies between the masculine and the feminine merge it's almost like neither one exists but it can be very frightening at the same time because the connection is so deep so what you're going to find is you're going to feel an aspect of that occurring um, and it's going to be an ebbs and flows so it's going to be where it happens very quickly and the merging is coming and then the fear of sense of loss internally of self will come about in both masculine and feminine and you, you'll draw away a bit more. That's so that it's it's a gradual thing, but it's for your sense of safety. So like I said, it's it's almost like you're going from the 5D to the 3D. So on a spiritual and emotional level, the deep connection is there and you're thinking this is absolutely wonderful. You know, this connection could absolutely consume me. Um, and then the, the fear creeps in connected to your sense of safety, uh, that that emotion and that depth of connection is a bit too risky uh, and you will semi want to withdraw and that's on both sides. But that's okay as well because it gives the breathing space to do the mental processing, to do that catch-up factor because as the soul actually changes, what you find is the body hasn't had time to catch up. So at an emotional level, you will have those stages where it feels all too consuming and all too fantastic and then frightening and then you physically have to move away in order to get that catch-up factor to feel safe again to reconnect. Okay, lots of dynamics and trigger points are going to come up and this is coming from the masculine side that are causing triggers within you and this can be connection to, like I said, your self-worth it can be connected to jealousy, self-esteem, um, insecurities, and past tense hurts. Now, these things as trigger points are not there to say the past is reliving or the past is going to reoccur. And this could be connected to anything from the masculine going outside of the twin flame union, etc. The dynamics and scenarios that will creep up, which is past tense history you share with your twin, 
they're there again as a snippet to purge an aspect of something that you've actually outgrown but they are going to be trigger points but the ironic thing is the way you're going to directly relate to them will be a totally different way you have ever related to them before you may find yourself to be over dominant um, over verbal and if that's even a word um, very verbal in a sense of getting very cross and very much owning your power uh, it's going to cause a bit of A cat fight the cats crying out the front it's going to cause a bit of confusion connected to your masculine because they're going to be thinking where the hell did this come from um, yeah just go with that because you're owning your power and that's what happens um, but it's because you've changed you're not that person anymore and as I said uh, with the whole scenario connected to the twin flame union, which is, you know, the deep connection you share with this person, what you're finding is where before you would have tolerated certain things, you've actually, you've changed. So you're catching up and they're catching up and they've changed as well, but we'll get on to them in a moment. So I'm going to pull some cards for you guys. You will find with you coming and going, and when I'm saying coming and going, it can be just for an hour, but it's uh, it's to ground yourself to a point you feel adequately recouped to deal with the next scenario. As it moves forward, what you're going to find is hurdles are going to be occurring every day. Now, this is for the twin flames that are in contact. And for those of you who aren't, this is what's to come. Now, I do feel things are moving very quickly. They are moving to a point where there is change. There definitely is going to be tests, and these are old paradigms old scenarios coming up that are going to very much test both the masculine and the feminine and it's a universal test so to speak this is the vibe i'm getting the best advice i can give the feminine is you will go from planes of 3D, which is what is physically here and you're emotionally and vibrationally dealing with, so they can be scenarios that come up. How you directly deal with them is okay, that's fine, because that's an aspect of a test that you're needing to pass. You're needing to understand how you visually, uh, physically, aspectly have changed. So these things that, that are going to come up are there for an for a, a change they're there to say okay you have done the change things have changed and it's not that you're supposed to be perfect it's that you have evolved so the realization of the factor that you have evolved can only really come about through scenarios uh, you're always aware that we're constantly changing but but you need to visually see it and in your mind <clears throat> questions have come up connected to whether this person is being upfront and honest with you your twin um, whether there is enough love within this connection and if they even do love you so it might be at a verbal level they physically might be showing you but haven't directly elaborated okay the ironic thing is the connection to friends is going to be the aspect that's going to help you yet before I don't feel you would have thought that this was possible um, and I'll show you the cards Okay. 
Be gentle on yourself, feminines. It is going to pass. It's a process that you're going through. It's an aspect of learning. It's not, it's not a permanent energy. Nothing ever stays the same forever. This energy is going to shift. It is a very emotional energy that you're feeling at the moment. Look, there's no face, there's no fake mask. What they're dealing with is what I will explain in a moment. It's okay. In your mind, you're thinking they're going to be doing the same thing over and over again. Your key to that, your mindset needs to change. You can actually attract this energy. If aspects of the old do creep up, it's because aspects within yourself need to physically be purged. It's your fears being manifested. So the manifestation of those things, it's obviously we all have freedom of will, but an aspect, in a sense, connected to your twin flame union will come up from previous times to test the scenario, to push your power to the point you own your power, and then very quickly your energy is going to change. And that's where you're going to, again, the way I said it, you'll have to remove yourself, ground yourself, and you'll come to a point where you'll shift back to your spiritual self. And when I'm saying your spiritual self, your internal power of knowing that you have the ability to co-create, manifest, um, and also unhinge yourself to a point where uh, you become a little bit too emotional. So sometimes having that space to breathe and then go back to the scenario can actually help ground you. And then as, you're, as you've removed yourself from the scenario, your vibration changes. I do also see a lot of the feminine actually white lighting themselves and cleansing themselves because you are absorbing a lot of energy at the moment. So your immunity, at, maybe, again, I'm not a doctor, but you might find that you feel very run down, very tired. I do feel a lot of you are staying up quite late. And you're very much questioning so many different dynamics. But it's kind of good in a way that you are getting tired because there is coming that point where you'll be so physically exhausted that you will need to sleep where your mind will shut down. Now, you're questioning whether there is enough love in the union. There's never a question. There is. Aspects need to be purged. That's all it's ever been. Growth needed to happen. That's all it's ever been. Okay. Your friends directly... Perhaps, now this can go two ways. Friends are helping the scenario, but they're absolutely not required because the energy between two people is still there. However, I do see and feel a scenario where with this purging and these aspects from the past that are going to come up, friendships are going to be the ones that give each of you the clarity or the support. And I do feel these, these people are directly connected to you and they're also aligned correctly for the direct time to help this process for the communication to happen. It's almost like you do speak the same language, yet if it comes from an external, it's a safer perspective. So clarity is going to come and I do feel it will be crosswise in a sense, but an external party is going to assist the situation. Okay, you are making the effort and that's a positive thing. It's necessary. And this can be connected to your twin. It can be connected to your vibration. It can also be connected to children. It can also be... Uh, you may find that your twin's very playful. You might actually find your feeling very playful and getting in touch with kind of that grounded aspect of yourself where you're letting go a bit and that I do feel for the feminine a lot of that has been coming up where you're quite what would the word be sorry I'm pretty tired um how do you explain it work is work play is play Sometimes for you, what you might find is you're very structured. So when you have your focus connected 
it's very mature it's sometimes too mature and I swear I just saw a knob go past me you're you're coming to a point where you're realizing and I did put a post on the actual website okay we're in the year of Libra so the aspect of the scales we're also in a number one year the laws of attraction magnetically speaking we're going to be triggered on two areas like I've said before it's between not the good and the bad but the little bit naughty side and the angel side but all of us have this but for the feminine the ironic thing was it was more it was all for the good almost to the point where that balance was not there because the perfection in a sense was not realistic yet in your mind you're seeking it so drastically oh, that it it was difficult but it was you were creating a perfectness and i swear i can see something behind me is creeping me out i'm gonna watch this video later okay so the, the good and the bad connected to the balance by letting go and having that playful aspect connected to yourself is is part of the masculine's energy so what you're going to find is you've got the you've got the best of both worlds so it's triggering an aspect of you to be quite playful and, and to get in touch with that now again the laws of attraction so you need to realize and your mind will switch so when you're going through this aspect of purging and testing what's going to happen is is that you're going to realize the laws of attraction forgiveness is coming through this process um, and that's connected to your past it's connected to what you wished was but wasn't and in a sense to let go so that you can move forward and your guides are actually protecting you connected to this now just checking masculines okay you guys are going through an interesting energy you're very silent at the moment you're processing very deeply you're you're waiting for those quiet times where you can actually concentrate and think on how you're you're feeling directly connected to this connection uh, you already do know how you do feel connected to it but you're waiting for the correct time in your mind and I don't know are you seeking perfection perhaps but it doesn't feel that sort of energy it feels that you're wanting it to be a correct way so there's you're wanting it to be the right way it's verbalized so you're waiting for the correct moment you're also questioning aspects of yourself of your worthiness connected to this union um, aspects connected to the past are past tense but you're very much trying to forgive yourself for past tense scenarios and aspects of those are still current in your life which is a constant reminder of this which is causing a processing to be you're going through an aspect of thinking on these dilemmas um, but you, you try not to stay in your mind too much because there I mean it's it's a great house up there but it's not going to get you the forward motion okay so a sense of self-worth it are points that are coming up at the moment and this is anything to do with body image um what you've past tense achieved or what you've previously done good or bad you are thinking over these things but when you're with your twin be it on a conversation level a physical level um could be on the telephone or an email suddenly you're up and out of hair and you're very grounded but when you are away a great deal of processing is actually happening so the feminine are going through 
uncertainty but seeking clarity but the feminine aren't asking the feminine have reserved that because they visually want to see if this is what's happening and if it's going to change you're thinking it's a test feminine they're enjoying the ride the masculine is just going with the flow of things um, they are wound, wounded they are very tired they are what ties them they're dreaming of you at the moment as well as I do feel they're holding their breath now it, they're closing their eyes because they have to tell you the truth when they physically look at you they cannot lie to you their eyes and your eyes when connected cannot lie to one another They're wanting you to have patience with them, but they're also trying to have patience with themselves. They are becoming stronger through this process. But it's bizarre. I sort of feel a lot of their dreams is what's coming through. Now, for many, this has already happened. Uh, for some, this is coming. So it depends on where you are in the journey. Tell you I'd relate it back. Bear with me. I'm trying to get the story here because there's some things coming through at the moment. On a level of them, they're doing a lot of processing internally. They're being patient because a lot of them is wounded as much as they're tying themselves away from you. Now, that's not to say you're not having contact and all the rest of it. They're recouping as well as they're not there. And that sounds weird in a sense that it's like they're meditating and they're processing at a separate it's like they're two separate people so they're trying to come into that oneness so they can get them back but what they're realizing is they're already there they're just very tired they do have the strength through this process so the patience is with themselves with the process of what they've been through and the healing they're needing to do. Huh, excuse me, I knew that would happen. I apologise, it's very rude. Okay, their potential, ultimately speaking, both you, the universe and them knows is completely limitless. So they're able to do anything they put their mind to and this is heart related. I do feel an old soul around them that has passed over and this can be 
It can be a spirit guide I'm feeling is actually guiding them. They're doing a lot of shadow work as well. You know, around the full moon you're going to find um, a lot of the masculine are doing a lot of healing. And especially at night time. And again, I'm yawning. They must be so tired because I'm picking this energy up. I feel as though they're still dealing with aspects because you've got this card in reverse, okay? Walking their truth. Now, this is in reverse. The energy I'm collecting is that they feel their hands are tied and they're not entitled to have or own the truth. Yet internally they know the truth of how they feel about the feminine. But they're still working on aspects of that. And triggers are going to come connected to it. Uh, judgment. Um, anger, resent, past tense scenarios. But they know that this situation is limitless. There's, it's almost like it's destined to be. So regardless of what they do, they can't purge it. They can't get you out of their system. Um, and it's so close and how they feel is so deep and ready to explode. It actually makes them feel warm and emotional, but also quite to the point where they're unable to hold their energy back. Now... You have this card in reverse for them. They're feeling... Now this is weird, it's totally opposite, okay. They are feeling as though they're not worthy of you and they're feeling connected to the fact that they did not show the integrity yet. This is in the future. So for them it could be that maybe something triggers as I explained earlier. But for those of you who are further on in the journey it can be that something past tense related is cropping up in their minds which is what's popping up to me. Something they did to you um, is going to come up and it's some of their emotions are going to come up connected to this and it's actually something that you have been dealing with emotionally as well. Now they're also dealing with their shadow side which is the darker side of who they used to be which now they're seeing aspects of that in you but it's not it's not the same at all it's very very different but they're they're, they're really awake get on me awning they're awake and and kind of visually sensing these things which is making them very emotional. It's almost like an activation and a wake up. Okay. They believe in this union and they know it's a twin flame connection and they, they really do believe in it, but they're also dealing with their shadow self, which leads on to, okay, first card. Guilt connected to the past. Okay, shadow self actually dealing with the aspects of what has transpired and I do feel this is previous even though this is in the future position the energy I'm actually feeling is it was a previous scenario that emotionally can come up in a conversational sense or a trigger point connected to a scenario that doesn't completely play out but is a trigger point but it's very much connected to the past they do completely believe in the twin flame connection and they know that you guys can't be apart. Even when you are apart, you're on each other's mind. Even when you are together, you're on each other's mind. The connection is just, it just is. They can't keep away from you also. So there is no sense of being still. They do want this to move a lot quicker than it is going. Uh, on the level of being patient, at the moment they are. But they're not going to be. It can be somebody from the feminine's past comes back, which is going to be a trigger point for their energy to move. But something is going to happen in a sense of moving the scenario forward. Okay. Now, I will pull three cards and I'll leave it at that because that is a long reading. And I have 12 more videos to do. P.S. I haven't even started. And I think it's 12 o'clock. I'll get that.
Okay, random spread. Middle energy is the joint connection and what's going on. To the left, I've got the feminine's energy and to the right, I've got the masculine's and the outcome I've placed at the top. Okay, you've got seasons of the heart in reverse. So ultimately speaking, you're hoping for romance. It might not feel like romance, but there is love. And you're reflecting on the love that you had connected to this twin flame. And this is a path that both of you guys have chosen. And it's it's what you can walk feminine. So keep going. I feel your energy standing there in a sense of feeling, I need you to tell me. Both of you are reflecting at the same time. The masculine does have the power. And you know they do. And you know that. They will sing you a tune as they're supposed to at the correct time as per divine timing. Luck is coming on their side and they will shower you with abundance and they do feel lucky to have you in their life in any shape or form. But they are following their intuition and it's what's going to guide them. And I do feel you'll have news connected around a full moon. Forgiveness. Ask yourself on the level of where. I do feel both of you are healing, connected to the past, but maybe you're going to forgive it. Maybe even though they have the power in this scenario, you're forgiving them and giving that to them to a degree. But you're forgiving them for not verbalising it as yet. Okay. They're feeling that if they have money, that they will be more worthy. Yet you're aware that abundance comes from within. But it's not, they're not looking at money that way. They actually look at it the same as you do. But they want to give you the world. Your intuition for the masculine Feminine, same, same, self-worth, so you guys know how each other feel connected to this, vibrationally when one's out of sync, the other is connecting it, and any aspect that comes up connected to your twin flame, Press the reset button because believe me, the next day is a new day. Try not to get up in your head and actually think that that's it because the clarity card is new beginnings. And that's all to do with the fact that even when hurdles come, there are new beginnings, there's new days. So keep trusting in the connection. And if you're needing a private booking, you can book me.